Welcome Scorpio to your weekly forecast. I'm Katie. If you do have any personal questions that you would like answered, then please visit my website katietarot.com and you can book your reading with me there because this is a general reading. Okay, so you need to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't resonate. Now Scorpio, this reading is from the 29th of January through to the 4th of February 2018 and it is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Scorpios. So this week guys, get ready to open up and receive. We have blessings, quiet times and medicine wheel. Get ready to open up and receive what is coming towards you because you have a wonderful opportunity here with blessings to pull down and to harness and to tap into the higher vibrational frequencies of spirit and the messages that are coming through for you. And I feel that there is a healing here for you. If you have been unwell in your mind or in your body or in your spirit in some way or emotion or emotions, then there is a clearing out and there is also a, um, a rebuilding of what is lost. So it's clearing out the old really and bringing in what is new through this new light that's coming down towards you. So this is wonderful Scorpio. Um, I feel that some of you are healers and I also feel that you are in a place right now where you are able to accept the the blessings, the, the light that's coming through and down towards you. Um, I feel you're able to draw that more and more and this week is no exception. So there is, fe there is a feeling here that some of you are... Um, our healers and if this is the case then continue on your path because you are doing something wonderful. You've definitely chosen to walk down this path and it's a life purpose choice you know. So it's uh, one that you have been guided to do from above. Now for others I feel that this is a healing of the body or the mind or the emotions or the spiritual self so there is this coming through for every Scorpio this week. It's really quite amazing. Um, so if you would like to tap into this energy because it is around you, I feel for um, a lot of you, Spirit is going to open up pathways for you to be able to do this and access this. And for others, you may need to take some time out. You know, if you're really busy, you're rushing around because with quiet times here in the middle, it does speak that you need to relax, take time out to connect with yourself, with Spirit. Have some alone time and that's how you're going to receive this healing that's coming through. There is also a sharing here and a giving. So I feel that either you are going to be the one to help and give to others or another is going to come and uh, help you or assist you in some way that is being guided by spirit that is for your highest good. So overall, we have some wonderful, powerful, beautiful energies coming through this week. Let's have a look at some more cards and see what else we can get. We have the Eight of Swords. The Ten of Wands. The King of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Lovers, and the Tower. So there may be a Gemini that is in the picture for you here in a scenario in your life that you are dealing with at the moment, or they ha they represent the Gemini qualities. Um, or they may have Gemini very strongly in their chart. Um, so that could be the case for some of you. Now, I can see why Spirit wants you to take some time out and to receive these blessings, Scorpio, because you have been in a bit of a bind. You have been... I feel you've had a lot of pressure put on you and you have been having some anxiety and some suppression of your true self lately. Um, now this may be to do with a relationship, your love relationship, okay, that is going to be the case for some of you, you feel like you are trapped, you can't move, there's negative, th 
negative thinking around you. There are negative words and thoughts and actions that are around you. It feels like you have a burden. It feels like you are finding it hard to carry on at this point. And so Spirit is giving you some light. Spirit is bringing this down towards you so you're able to see the wonderful life that you do have and could have and things are still going to progress. They are going to move forward out of this situation even though at the moment I can see that you feel like it won't. That it might be difficult for you to move forward. But there is a change coming. We do have the tower and when the tower happens it's an energy of movement and it's something that's coming from a long way off. You know it's something that's even destined to happen and it's and it's about change and it's about moving forward from that change. It could be about um, a love relationship, like I said. Also, it could be about work. We've got, um, we've got the ones here, so work, career, the workplace, business. If you're in business for yourself or if you work for a, um, a company, um, however you make your money, that sort of thing, it could be related to that. Um, but there is a big shakeup coming. There is a, a movement that's going to happen and it looks like it's going to be in this week. Okay, so this week is a big week and that's why Spirit is bringing through these messages of healing and blessing and asking you to take some time out and reconnect to yourself, reconnect to Spirit, your spiritual side because you're going to need it. You're going to need that go to lift yourself up out of this situation. You feel like your hands are tied. You feel like there uh, there is nothing you can do you know and there might not be this might be out of your control for some that's going to be the case it's out of your control you can't do anything about it that's how it is you just have to ride with the wave you just have to go with it and things are going to change ultimately anyway and if you can become aware of that the things are ultimately going to change then you'll be able to at least know that mentally and emotionally and deal with things in a different way um, so this is why this wonderful energy is coming. This beautiful energy is going to be shining down on you this week. Um, now there may be a choice. The, the lovers of course represents choosing things um, that have a large impact on your life. So you may be asked this week or you may come to the decision yourself about something choosing between two people or two workplaces or whether you're going to stay or go in a situation or whether you're going to do this or do that but it is going to have a profound impact on your life in some way um, and it looks like from this choice there is going to be a bit of an unsettling energy that comes about but like I said, that is necessary for you to move forward and you do have Spirit's help this week and you do have that healing energy. So please tap into it. You know, you're receiving it as the King of Cups down here in your own space, in your own time. Okay, the King of Cups is all about um, being mature emotionally and um, Having everything that he needs within himself in an emotional sense is very, um, very sure of himself. So it's very much bringing yourself up, up out of these energies of the swords. That's what I'm sensing is going to happen if you're able to tap into this energy. If you're able to take some time out and do this. So yes, we have big decisions, big choices. Or, or it might be a smaller one, but it does lead on to bigger things. It is going to be more of a bigger thing down the track. Um, there is definitely something, there is definitely an energy this week for you Scorpio of sorting something out and for this you need strength and that's what Spirit is giving you this week. So very beautiful, very amazing energy is coming from Spirit. Yes I can see the challenge here, I can see that and you are it feels like you're up against it. It feels like things are, you know, you might just be very busy this week. You might have a lot on and it just feels like it's just weighing you down and it's weighing on you mentally and physically and emotionally and you might just feel very drained. And that's why spirit, you know, in your in that kind of situation, spirit's going to be able to help you out. But then we also have, you know, you might make a choice after that you know, maybe your weeks have been very busy and very, um, you've had to expend a lot of energy 
and you really you really need to um, conserve that energy so you decide to make a choice okay let's let's decide between this or that you know that sort of thing so wonderful healing coming through we have blessings coming through for you as well. Wonderful. So really um, harness those energies if you're able to because it is going to help you immensely this week, Scorpio. So that is the reading for the week. I wish you all the best week ahead and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.